American Funds is uh, what South Point uses uh, for their 529 plan. It's actually a state of Virginia plan. The reason we use state of Virginia is because, because it's tied to American Funds, and American Funds are good investments. The reason we don't use a Minnesota plan is because there's no benefit to it. In Minnesota, we don't get any tax breaks if we're investing for our children's educational futures. Some states have that, but Minnesota doesn't. So we're here, we're free to go to other states if we want to. So our agenda here, first we're going to talk about um, the academic decision, uh, then making an educated choice, and, uh, and then building your plan. So first of all, the academic decision. And you know that what the headlines always say, that the cost of college is going up, and uh, there's lots in the news about student loan debt, and the difficulty that students have with that, in that, um, you know, they get out of school and, and they, they have a pretty big debt to take care of. And, and to do that over a 10-year period, I believe, uh, can be pretty difficult. So. Here they show the difference between a high school education and a college education in terms of earnings. The average uh, for a high school diploma is weekly earnings, 652, uh, and this is as of 2012. Uh, for a bachelor's degree, um, it's 1066, so almost double. And then as far as the unemployed, those with a high school diploma, 8.3%, uh, bachelor's degree about cut in half, 4.5%. College costs, 2013, a public university, in-state public universities, almost 18,000, private university, almost 40,000. And in my experience here in Minnesota, uh, TED at the U pays about 22, 23,000. And I know he was looking at St. Thomas, and, and that was almost 50,000. So there's a big difference. Uh, projected, uh, 2031. Uh, public university around 50,000, the private university uh, 112,000. And they pick out 2031 because they're assuming that uh, a child starts at age zero, and so they're adding 18 years. So a baby that was just born, that's what they're facing 18 years from now in terms of projections and the cost of education. Invested money goes further than borrowed money. If your goal is 25,000, the savings scenario, your monthly investment $152 a month adds up to a little over 18000 The borrowing, your monthly payment of two seventy eight, dollars you end up paying 33000 The difference there uh, is about 15000 So saving, obviously, is uh, much better than waiting and borrowing the money. Making an educated choice, the 529 college savings plans offer an attractive combination of benefits. Uh, 529 plans grow tax-free. They're flexible. The, the person that takes out a 529 plan is the owner of those assets, and so you control those assets. And it's also an estate planning tool because of uh, being able to give money and uh, have it go towards education, uh, and that, that can lower our estates and help in that. Uh, why tax-free investing? This just shows the difference between a taxable account and a tax-free account. Basically about almost $10,000 difference over 18 years. Um, and so doing a 529 plan makes a lot of sense from, from a tax standpoint. Two goals in one, college savings and estate planning. Sizable transfers without gift tax consequences. Up to $28,000 per year for married couples up to 140,000 combining five years worth of contributions into one lump sum investment. So they allow you to make into education savings a five year gift giving lump sum of 140,000. Flexibility, a person can open a 529 plan for anyone. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't even have to be a relative. So I, I find grandparents coming in quite often investing for their grandchildren. And, and you can also uh, have unlimited beneficiaries, open as many accounts as you like. And again, you control the assets. Why College America? College America is the American 
uh, funds plan. It's the among the Morning Star's highest rated advisor sold 529 college savings plan since 2004. It has low operating expenses and it's the country's largest 529 college savings plan. Uh, there's a diversity of investment options and uh, again, um, it's, it's tied to American funds. Uh, low startup amounts, in fact, a person can start a 529 plan with a minimum of $50. You can also do this through work. By doing that, you don't incur any sales charges, and you can do by payroll deduction or through your bank account. And there's no cost, and the, administrate, the administrative burden to employers is, is low. Okay, building your plan, three ways to fund would be to, to do a lump sum, invest a $50,000 lump sum invested at birth, would yield over 18 years, 210,000. If you would do uh, $200 a month starting at birth, it would yield uh, half of the 200,000, roughly about 96,000. And if you do 200 monthly starting at birth, plus two $250 contributions per year, uh, that gets you to 117000 over 18 years. And uh, in building your plan, there's, a, there's quite a range of investment options. The American Funds College Target Date Series. Uh, they also have a Portfolio Series. And then they have 25 individual American funds as well. And uh, the Target Date Series, basically what this shows uh, you can you can see on the far left is when the child is the youngest. You notice that the investments are a little more aggressive in terms of growth and growth in income. And then over those 18 years, going across this way, you can see that the investments become more conservative, and so they're trying to protect the gains. And, and so that's what a target date series does, is over time it it automatically shifts into becoming more conservatively invested. And so they have, they have six funds um, to choose from. Uh, preservation, growth and income, balanced, an income portfolio, uh, global growth, and, uh, and then the, the growth portfolio. Uh, the balanced portfolio, uh, this would probably be a good choice uh, for if you're sort of getting started a little later with this type of investment uh, because there is, it, it's a fund of funds, uh, but, but it, it, it isn't as aggressively invested. And then these, this is just a list of the different funds available to American funds or through American funds. The, these are the equity funds that are invested in, in stocks. And then they also have fixed income and money market funds as well, where you're primarily invested in bonds. A $5,000 initial investment plus $100 monthly investments. This is how the, it could have grown um, with using that American Balanced Fund, uh, which is a little bit more conservative. Um, you can see that over uh, a period of 18 years, it actually outdid uh, the U.S. stock market for, um, if, you, if you put the money into CDs, it almost doubled that.